students here's your science tutor nishat back with another interesting session chalo then let's get started so in a previous session we have seen the two important components of the cell that is the cell wall and cell membrane and in our today's session we shall study about the other important components of the cell so to begin with let us invade the mastermind the control center of the cell that is the nucleus this nucleus is a spherical shaped structure located at the center of the cell and it controls all the functions of the cell now in order to run a company successfully it's very important to have an efficient leader who controls guides and regulates the functions of other employees right similarly our nucleus this nucleus is like a leader who controls regulates the functions of the other components of the cell so now when we look at a microscopic view of a nucleus we can see that it has its own jelly like fluid called nucleoplasm and is surrounded by a membrane called as the nuclear membrane which separates the nucleus from the rest of the cell and this nuclear membrane has pores all over it meant for the movement of substances across the nucleus now certain cells do not have a nuclear membrane surrounding the nucleus such cells are called as the prokaryotic cells for example the bacteria now we the animals the plants and all we have a proper nuclear membrane surrounding the nucleus of our cells and hence our cells are called as the eukaryotic cells now in addition to this the nucleus has an exclusive genetic material called the chromosomes which in turn has the dna deoxyribonucleic acid so what are these dna this dna are nothing but the hereditary units which transfer the characters from the parents to the offspring now have you ever wondered as to why and how are we little similar in appearance to our parents now that magic happens because of this exclusive dna that stores all information regarding our appearance and transfers a part of it from the parents to the offspring hope we are now familiar with the king the control center of the cell that is the nucleus now let us study about another component of the cell that is the cytoplasm so what is the cytoplasm cytoplasm is nothing but the base or the floor of the cell it is the jelly like fluid that extends from the plasma membrane up to the nuclear membrane and within the cytoplasm or the jelly like fluid the other cell organelles or the components are present now let us have a quick recap so what is a nucleus a nucleus is the control center of the cell and controls all the functions of the cell it has its own nuclear membrane and also has an exclusive genetic material that is the chromosome that transfers the characters from the parents to the offsprings and what is cytoplasm the cytoplasm is nothing but the jelly like fluid that extends from plasma membrane up to the nuclear membrane and within which the other cell organelles or the components are present so we are in the last part of our chapter where we're going to deal with the other few components or the organelles of the cell that is the vacuole and plastid so firstly the vacuole So what are these vacuoles? The vacuoles are nothing but the storage boxes of the cell. They store the large amount of water, food and other nutrients within it. They also store the waste products of the cell which they later send it out of the cell. So when we look at the structure of a plant cell and an animal cell, we can see that there is one large vacuole in a plant cell. whereas in an animal cell there are one or more small vacuoles present so the major function of the vacuoles is to store 
Now let us study about another interesting component of the cell that is the plastid. Now just like the cell wall was present only and only in case of the plant cells, these plastids are also present only and only in case of the plant cells. Yes, we animal cells have no plastids. Now why are these plastids unique to plant cells? That is because they are involved in the delicious food making process in the plants that is the photosynthesis and hence they are regarded as the kitchen of the cells. Now these plastids are of various colors and the plastid that has a green color pigment chlorophyll are called as the chloroplast. These chloroplasts give that pretty green color to the leaves. In fact, all the veggies, the vegetables, the fruits, the flowers, the plants are all colorful because of this colorful component present in the plant cells that is the plastid. So I hope now the functions of the plastids are clear. Plastids are involved in the photosynthesis. Hence, they are regarded as the kitchen of the plant cells. Plastids also give the color to the plants fruits and vegetables. So with that, we come to an end of this chapter. And by now, I think we can differentiate a plant cell and an animal cell. So three important features which are unique only and only to the plant cell is that the plant cell has an additional extra rigid covering surrounding their plasma membrane called the cell wall. The plant cells have a unique food making system that is the plastid. And there is one large vacuole present in the plants. Rest of the components are more or less the same in both the cells. Well, I enjoyed exploring the topic cell. Hope you did too. See you all in the next session. Bye.